We're also covering new information tonight about the abduction of a 21-year-old man in Taylorsville. Yeah, in an exclusive interview, his girlfriend speaks only to KUTV's Christian Sita. Christian, live in Taylorsville for us right now. And Christian, what are we learning about this case? Yeah, so far those details are pretty scarce. Now, I did talk to the man's girlfriend, and she tells me she doesn't understand why this is happening to her boyfriend. He doesn't do anything. This is the moment Alyssa Henry's life took a turn. All of them looked at me and then drove away, and I started chasing the car, and I got to the end of the street before someone found me and called the police. After Alyssa says she heard a gunshot from inside the vehicle parked outside her home. Looked like they shot him and drove away. That's where her boyfriend Alex Franco chatted with a group of people who were supposed to give a couple a ride to the park. They were friends of friends, so we didn't think anything weird about it. According to the Taylorsville police, the incident happened around 4.15 p.m. on Sunday near 3800 West, 5700 South. The police are looking for a white Jeep Liberty with a spare tire on the back, black door handles, and a gray front bumper. I just started trying to track his phone and... It got to about the end of the street before it just stopped tracking it. Alyssa tells me she doesn't understand why anyone would do this. Please help me find him. <laughs> Bring him home. That's all I ask. Now, we did reach out to the police to fill in those gaps, but we have not heard back. Reporting live, Christian Sita, KUTV 2 News.